particularly using hypothesis, worked very well when we transitioned to online in March. Having students who were used to logging in, who knew what to do, allowed me to maintain a sense of community that was really hard to kind of create. Even this year with two thirds of my students online, having class discussions gets to be a little tricky, but being able to put something down where they can collaborate together and expand on each other's ideas um, really helps them to kind of come together and find that, that common ground. For my students, because they're juniors and seniors, a lot of them are social media heavy. Um, it's kind of what they like. So for them, this actually taps into something they're already familiar with. They are used to the concept of looking at something collectively and sharing their ideas on it and then responding to each other's thoughts and kind of evaluating and growing that thought process together. So this takes kind of what they do outside of school and puts it in a format that works beautifully within school, um, which is already amazing. I also find that my classes are very boy heavy and discussions aren't very always very conducive for boys. Um, just that thought process, my girls tend to take over the conversations. But this allows for them to stop and think. And so everyone's kind of participating equally and no one's really being overridden in a conversation because it's happening kind of simultaneously. So five people can be annotating at the same time and you're not talking over each other the way you would in an actual classroom discussion. So for me, it's really nice to have that element that makes a little bit more egalitarian in conversation. 